Hi there guys, this is Rob back for another review and today I'm going to be looking at Transformers 4 Dinobot Slug which is from the Age of Extinction movie. Annoyingly I'll be 30 on the 27th of June but it is quite a redeeming thing that Transformers comes out on my birthday which uh, will make me feel better about being 30 <laughs> so I've got to go and see that. I picked this guy up from Toys R Us in Merry Hill. They've got quite a few of these deluxes in, some Dinobots and some of the other guys. They've called him Slug. Now, uh, I imagine he should be called Slack, but I guess that in this society we live in that's so easily offended these days they've gone for Slug, So, uh, which could be just as offensive or more than Slag really, couldn't it, so, if you think about it. But anyway, it's called Slug, but because the character is so different, I don't think it really matters to be honest. Um, I think you could just view these as completely new characters. The packaging is nice and I'm quite excited about a few of these new figures actually. Uh, particularly the Evasion Mode Optimus Prime, but I'm a bit of a Prime fan and the G1 cab thing is cool. So I'll have to pick that up when I find it. But anyway, um, let's get this guy out of the box and see what he's like. Right there guys, so I've got him into his uh, robot mode now. I really like this, I've literally just got it out and uh, figured out the transformation very quickly. It's really easy, it's very nice plastic, it feels very solid. It's got a really nice colour into it as well. It's very much like the uh, Transformers Go line that we've just seen and they're very metallic-y sort of plastic which looks like it's painted but actually it's just um, it's just the plastic which is cool. The only painted bits I can see is possibly the visor which is blue, a bit of silver on the helmet and uh, some good paint ups on the head with the red here. It has little paint marks on his chest here as well and there's a very like dark grey metallic plastic to it it looks like it's painted again. This bit you get options with you can have it down like a tail or you can fold it up like this perhaps or leave it hanging down. Or maybe you could bring it right over and have it like a bit of a scorpion octal, which is pretty cool. The aesthetic of it is just so different. It looks like a knight, as some people have said, the helmet on the guy very much looks like a, a knight's helmet. Elbows move up and down, but they're very stiff. And you've got the shoulders here that move like that. And your shoulders will move in and out too because of the transformation. And got a ball joint on the hip. Got a knee here. Don't know if you've got it anywhere else. Yes, you have. I suppose you've got a double knee, which is for the transformation, but still gives some more posability. And you've got toes here, which move them down. They're nice and pointy. Yeah, so you've got loads of articulation. The head is on a ball joint, which is something that's been missing from a lot of Transformers recently. I should have a go at transforming them. Yeah, let's have a go. So yeah, open these up and then rotate the hands in and then close it back up. Rotate the hand in, close up. So that's those ones done. You can rotate this around like that. And rotate that one around too. And see what we get with that. Put these feet in. And then pull these feet out here. And that forms the back legs. Bring this out the way for now, I think. So these bits fold around to form the triceratops crest. And then I believe I can just close this whole section up. I need to rotate some things out of the way. I'm going to move these arms forward. And then bring the head up and together. Clip that together. So now we've got the legs, just need to tidy these bits out of the way, which fit into here, I believe. So we've got little triceratops, which is kind of cute and very scary and aggressive at the same time. So well, I'm not sure it is a triceratops uh, because the tail is more stegosaurus and the uh, crest is a little bit different to a triceratops, more spiky. Now it could just be the design for the film. I don't know, but I know there's lots of different types of uh, dinosaur that are like Triceratops. I can't remember the names of the ones. I really like it. I'm surprised. There's uh, the, as for the articulation here, I don't know what we've got. We've got these little horns can move a little bit for whatever reason you might want to just have it displaying. And you've got these um, frills at the side of the top of the front legs here. Sort of blending nicely with that. They're painted silver. And then you've got the front legs here, which will bend, and they bend there too. Sorry, wrong side. Bend there on a ball joint and here. Which is kind of nice because they really didn't, they could have not bothered engineering that bit in because that's not got any real functionality for the robot mode really, but they have given him an extra set of legs that are dedicated for the Triceratops mode. And the these here, which become the belly, are his arms. That's kind of clever. And then the back legs here, we've got a ball joint and we've got two points of articulation and the toes as well, so that's three points of articulation. You can't complain of that, I don't think. The head will go up and down as well, as well as the jaws opening. 
I reckon you can get some really cool posters out of this actually. Uh, it's a good toy, definitely. I'm surprised. From what I'd heard initially about the reports that um, the toys were going to be really cut back and made very, very, very basic. Uh, I am very surprised and I do like the design of this. Definitely would like to get Grimlock I think. And uh, see there's a two pack for Grimlock coming out soon with uh, the Energon Grimlock in, in G1 colours, the cartoon colours which looks quite nice even though it's a bit of a funny bot but I could be tempted by that. Also the Creo one looks very nice too. I'm not into Creos but the Creo Grimlock does look very nice indeed. He comes with weapons, these little soft rubbery things again which look quite cool. Looks like they could uh, clip together here to form some sort of a, well they do clip together, stick weapon or something, I don't know, could be something useful for storage and I believe they can fit into the sides here, yes they can, they fit very easily and nicely. So that's where the hands are and as they're folded up and you can get this uh, extra run and slice blade kind of thing going or it could be wings but they're going to give it a lot of lift. Um, <laughs> They have to run bloody fast, wouldn't they? That does look pretty damn scary. Looks almost like it's on fire. This is cool. I, I get a lot of uh, a Rock Lord sort of a vibe with this. I reckon they might have um, took inspiration from Rock Lords with uh, Dino Bots and fused the two together with a bit of medieval in there too, and you end up with this, which is pretty damn cool. Um, as for size comparison, we've got the ROD Cliff Jumper here, which I picked up on the same day. He was the last one there amongst a lot of arachnids, and um, he was on sale. And I thought, why not? Because I really do like uh, Cliff Jumper and the Prime Line. I've got the first edition malt, but this one is actually more solid and um, possibly more fun and easier to transform. I do like the first edition one though, but this is cool. Very, very cool indeed. And another size comparison. I also picked this up. This comes from eBay, which is a G2 Scrap, which uh, I've got from my childhood, but he's missing the bonnet and. An arm, so I've got this to either fix that one up or to uh, get the gun that I've got for this, which is missing, to complete one of them basically. And uh, he's wicked, he looks like a tracks. I'll just show you quickly. So, fold his arms down, lift that up, fold the arms in, flip that around, and you're done. So, that's what Transform was like 20 years ago, back in the early 90s. <laughs> and then today we get this, so quite a difference. And to fill in the gap, uh, 10 years ago, I think they released this, which I also picked up as well from eBay. Got this for a very good price, I've been looking for it for a while, but I wasn't gonna pay hundreds of pounds or whatever it is they want for it. But I got this for, uh, I think it was 11 quid, and they look mint brand new to me. Very, very good indeed. I'll hold it a bit closer so you can see it. They are the Robot Masters Seekers uh, for Thundercracker and Skywarp. I think they come out at the same time as the Classics line initially, and Takara tried to get their own way with the Robot Masters, and they made their own moulds, which were a bit different. And um, they're pretty good actually. But they uh, cancelled them, I believe. But it's definitely worth a pick up this. They're not as uh, articulated as the Classic ones, but um, I don't believe they have the flaws of the Classics ones with the. Uh, cracks that appear on the on the pins so swings and roundabouts so, uh, they're definitely very nice these I'll do a review on them soon so what else have I picked up um, unrelated I picked up this which is the uh, Enterprise B I love Star Trek Generations and I particularly love the Enterprise B I'll just turn this light off a second so you can see this it's pretty cool make a nice night light and uh, there we go. So thanks for watching guys and thanks very much for the new subscribers. I have been away again a bit and the video I just put up was done in March as you might have noticed if you watched that. I don't know how this is going because I'm trying something different with the camera. I'm going through a bit of an experimental phase with my videos and that. As I've invested in the camera and some software I thought I'd have a play about with and have some fun with it, which it is quite good fun. So I'm trying things with screens and uh, I've not normally filmed here. This is my bedroom, and I'm just a small wardrobe behind here. It's, it seems to work out quite well for doing this camera thing, but you're a bit of a distance from me now because I've got this thing zoomed in, so I don't know what the hell's going on because I can hardly see it properly. 
Um, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Take it easy guys, see ya.